Hello YouTube, what's going on? Today I'm going to explain to you about vehicle cooling system. I'm going to use a Land Rover GS110 engine for this purpose. The components involved during this operation are engine fan, water pump, thermostat, upper radiator hose, lower radiator hose, the radiator, PVRV or pressure vacuum relief valve, expansion tank, and expansion hose. The engine fan is connected with the engine crankshaft by a belt. And connected to the other side of the engine fan is the water pump. As the engine starts, this will operate the engine fan along with the water pump. This water pump creates flow of water inside the water gallery. When temperature is still low, thermostat will be closed allowing water to be bypassed back into the engine. As the temperature rises up, thermostat will open, allowing the hot water to be transferred to the radiator by an upper hose. When pressure inside engine increases further, pressure valve of the PVRV will open, allowing excessive water from the radiator to be discharged into the water expansion tank. The hot water will then flow down to the lower tank of the radiator through water tubes. Attached to these water tubes are metal fins, which are used to dissipate the heat from the hot water. And with the help of the engine fan, the water will cool down pretty much faster. The cool water is transferred back to the water pump through a lower hose. This process repeats during the entire operation of the engine. As the engine stops, the temperature of the engine drops, vacuum will be created inside the engine. Vacuum relief valve of the PVRV will open, allowing water from the expansion tank to refill the radiator with water, which was discharged during previous process. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more video updates. And until now, thank you, and see you again next time.